Hi. Hi. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about Murray Lawn Mowers and what I know about them. Hopefully this helps you make a good decision. If you see one of these come up for sale on Facebook or Craigslist or your neighbor says, Hey, I got a lawn mower for you. You want it? Maybe you should take it. Maybe you shouldn't. Depends what he wants for it. <laughs> All right, here we go. That's my dog, Brandy, and my cat, pretty face. All right, so this is a newer style Murray wide body. And it's been modified, obviously. And it was junk, and the person didn't want it. And they said, the engine's good. And he said, you can use it. Take it. I said, okay. At the time, I was throwing away a lot of tractors. I needed something past winter to get me by. So that's why I fixed this up. Would I, Otherwise, would I have bothered? The answer is no. <clears throat> One good thing about this tractor is it's easy on, easy off. It's a step through. Other than that, it's cheap. It's just cheap. If you're a kid and you want a mower to mess around with, you want something to experiment with, yeah, it's good enough. But if you're serious about mudding trails, then use something like this for parts. If someone's going to give you this, or you have to trade for some work and they'll give it to you, <laughs> then get it because it might have a good engine, or it might have a good starter on it, or you might need the pulley, or you might need the, the rims. Or the tires, who knows. But usually these things have cheap tires, cheap rims. Everything is cheap on them. But you could get a few good parts off of it. Okay, maybe a gas tank. See, the, the steering was messed with. <clears throat> we had to relocate the battery to the back. Someone gave me some ATV tires. I was able to get them on there. That was kind of nice. But it's just not worth it. Hitch is wimpy. you got to make the hitch stronger if you're going to pull something with it. Okay, see something like this, get it for parts. That's where the battery originally fit. <clears throat> okay, let's go to the next one. My cats claimed it. They like the seat because it's nice and warm. This is a Murray from the 80s. Now, I've seen people take these tractors and make race mowers out of them. And I actually experimented a little bit with that. Didn't get too involved, but I did enough, and I'm going to share with you what I know about this style tractor. I have another video out there where I'm tearing one apart, and I said it's how much I hated it. But, the, you know, it's got good lines to it. It's got good lines. This is bad. Plastic front. A lot of times they're all broke. You run into something they're, they're very it, it's cheap grade plastic that's what it is and it shatters <clears throat> okay so what's wrong with this tractor obviously it has an oil leak okay the front ends on these tractors are just wimpy they're just so wimpy look at that pressed front axle it's awful okay like i said the front plastic usually shattered nice thing about it Gas tank. I always like the fact the gas tank was out in the open. We don't have to open the hood. That's nice. You might get an engine out of it. You might get parts off the engine. <clears throat> okay. Around to the back. Usually they have small tires on them like this. And those aren't the original tires either. <clears throat> See how the, the back hitch bent down? Can't take the weight even though it was modified. Now, what do I know about these tractors? Well, they have a pan design to them, a unibody design. So you're gonna see different varieties of these tractors. I'll go to the other side over here, the lights on it. So this piece that fits between here and here, so they made different, they kept the same uniframe but they added to it or took away from it. So this was the old style. 
difficult to get on and off. This is in the way of your foot, right? And this sticks up quite high. Then they modified it where they cut this section out and it doesn't really affect much of the frame integrity because this is a pan design here. So I cut one of these out before, like here to here, because it had a shift on the fender. It was really strange. It must have been like a mid-year. It had this piece here, but no shifter, and the shift was on the fender. So I said, well, well why should I leave that? So I cut it out, and then I add some brackets in there, and it was the same as another style you might see that's a pass-through, okay, that has a shift on the fender. Now, if you see one of these, and the guy's got a video out there on YouTube, and he made a race mower out of it. So I'll start talking about that. Shift on the go, which is on the fender. And you really don't care whether it has this piece or not. But you want this, it'll say right here, shift on the go, and the shifter will be here. What I did with mine, and it worked for me, if you want to do it, that's up to you. And if you get hurt, I'm not liable. <laughs> so it's all on you. But this is what I did for me. I went through, and all the little tabs for, say, 1 to 6 or 1 to 5, I cut them out. And I left the ones for neutral, and I left the tabs for reverse. So that way, I could clutch it, and I didn't have to pull the shifter level lever in to shift it i could just clutch it a little bit and punch it and clutch it a little bit and punch it again or downshift it the same thing clutch it a little bit and pull it down and it actually worked but at the time i had too many tractors around here something something broke on it and i just didn't want to bother with it okay if you can find a murray it's that body style Minus the cat that has the lever that says shift on the go. You might want to pick it up. It might be good enough for a race, but definitely don't try for a trail mower. Don't, it's, not, it's not worth it. All right. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll keep churning them out. Thank you.